People's Budget Ordinance, PBO of Naga City, is an innovative program that further strengthens the city renewed participatory governance by ensuring that local budgets are responsive to the needs of their respective constituents and are prepared and approved through a transparent, efficient, and participatory process. Consequently, it drove the city government to pilot and pioneer the development of a voluntary local review, VLR, of Sustainable Development Goals, SDG in Naga, which the innovative policy mandated as part of the enhanced planning and budgeting process. A two-tire public consultation process of departmental and city plans and budgets organized by the Naga City People's Council and the pioneering 2022 VLR which aligns with the Philippine Voluntary National Review, VNR, lie at the heart of this innovation. Enacted into law on October 10, 2017, City Ordinance Number 2017-072 covers both city and barangay budgets. In her explanatory note, author and former city councillor Mila Raquid Arroyo said that a good budget should not only fund public purpose but should also and primarily be truly responsive to the needs of the people. To achieve this purpose, the budgeting process must be efficient, transparent, and participatory. Indeed, the Naga City has long been known for its participatory governance processes. In 1997, it established a system of partnership with local civil society organizations by creating the Naga City People's Council, NCPC, the city-level federation of CSOs that selected their representatives to mandated national and local special bodies and standing committees of the city government. Consequently, planning documents of the city government were crafted with strong people's participation through NCPC sectoral representatives, among others. But how to ensure that these plans are translated into budgets? Truly responsive to people's needs remain a formidable policy gap for two decades. This is what the program sought to address. The foray into piloting the VLR is a logical consequence of the policy. In 2020, it took on UNESCO's offer for Naga to pilot a voluntary local review of the SDGs in the Philippines. A VLR is a process through which local government undertake a voluntary review of their progress towards delivering the 2030 SDGs. VLRs enable LGUs to present a comprehensive picture of their social, economic, and environmental progress, thereby connecting local plans to a global agenda. The program has four objectives. 1. Results-oriented. Public funds shall be expended only for public purpose clearly defined under the appropriation measure. Number 2. Evidence-based. The annual budget shall respond to the local situation as reflected in the community-based monitoring system, CBMs, or other local data. 3. Participative budgeting. Constituents had been given the opportunity to comment on the budget and these are considered by the mayor and the Sangudian before approval. Number 4. Plan Budget Link The annual budget is the lifeblood of the Local Development Plan, LDP, and the Annual Investment Program, AIP, formulated in consultation with the local stakeholders. To achieve these objectives, the program pursued the following strategies. 1. Voluntary Local Review The city government pioneered a voluntary review of the SDGs using VLR. As a result, it has adapted the VLR as a monitoring tool for its new CDP 2022-30. Number 2. Regular CBM Surveys Since 2011, Naga has already implemented a total of three CBM surveys. The result of these surveys are being used by city government agencies in formulating their plans, investment programs, and budgets. Number three, a two-tire public consultation process where departmental and city plans and budgets are presented to stakeholders is organized by the NCP with the support of City Planning Department face-to-face -face in 2018 and 2019 and virtually in 2020 and 2021 due to the pandemic. This provides the platform through which the public can provide feedback on what city agencies are actually planning to implement during the next budget year. Number 4. City Statistics Committee 
Lastly, the Naga City Government organized the Naga City Statistics Committee to become the institutional home of the VLR process as well as the critical monitoring of its plan and budget outcomes using the SDGs and other local indicators. After four years of implementation, the latter two, under the difficult and trying COVID-19 pandemic, the program produced the following positive results and impacts. 1. SDG Alignment The programs, projects, and activities PAPs, being implemented in Naga were generally compliant with the SDGs. For city government agencies, 100% of the 56 departments, offices, and program units were found compliant owing to an emphasis on SDG alignment in the planning and investment programming phase. For barangay governments, from 41% in 2020, the level of compliance rose to 89% in 2021 and 2022, with only 3 of the 27 unable to submit their proposed budgets to the planning department for review. Number 2. Positive Impact of Budget Consultations A quick survey among city agencies showed that while all the budget proposals did not change, 29% of the respondents implemented adjustments in their agency activities in response to comments and suggestions from stakeholders. This includes the City Nutrition Agency, which decided to offer milk supplements to senior citizens after it was pointed out that nutritional issues also affect the ranks. Previously, this is absent in their original proposal, which traditionally focuses on infants and mothers. Number 3. Participation improves government plans, programs, and activities. Even under trying circumstances, the program showed that public participation can help improve service delivery. This can be seen from experiences of the city's population, information technology, disaster risk reduction, and arts, culture, and tourism agencies who all adjusted their menu of services to improve client response. With improved quality of participation, this should only get better. Number four, participation improves quality of life, especially of marginalized and vulnerable sectors. Again, this is the most evident in the case of the City Nutrition Program since its inception. This highly decorated agency of the city government has focused its nutrition program solely for the welfare of mother and children. Little did it realize that senior citizens are also faced with nutritional challenges, and the budget consultation surfaced this. As a result, the agency reconfigured its program offerings within the same budget ceilings thereby contributing to a better quality of life for its 1,000 needy members. Number 5. Third-party monitoring can be actualized. Finally, by closing the loop and implementing the pioneering voluntary local review of the SDGs in the Philippines, the program also demonstrated that participatory monitoring of local plans and programs can be pursued through the Naga City Statistics Committee and using the VLR as a reporting platform. 